hello everyone so today i am going to show you um, a breakdown of this level so uh, how each of these uh, elements in this level works so that means uh, how the checkpoints work how the where how the checkpoints are saved and how each section is broken down into sections like not all the enemies are alerted at once so how to proceed how to dynamically load each section as as the player proceed so that kind of technical breakdown of this level so that's what i am going to do today mm, all right and before this part uh i want to show you something so this is actually i'm playing this in my editor right so yeah uh, before starting the session i wanted to show that uh, like this is the second day after the release and it's already trending in my country sri lanka a lot of people are playing so actually uh, this is a very um, this is a really uh, emotional situation that uh, it's a really good experience because uh, this game is something that uh, we worked on like three uh, i worked on like four years uh, but most of uh, most of the members may some people came in board like in two years some are one years so yeah i spent anyway we spent a lot of time making this game on our own and now it's out there a lot of people are playing it so this is when other people play when you see that other people play your game that's that's really great it feels really great so yeah so this is the first game we developed actually uh, it doesn't look good at all i mean <laughs> this is the first one but yeah uh, it was it called kanchai but i won't go into that so yeah okay so let's get on with this session uh, so let me show you an overview of this level like this so player starts here and this is the path if i make it unlit mode you can see this clearly we have created a night light a night environment here because uh, the earlier map was a day environment and we needed to have some variation throughout the levels actually we have uh, all types of different uh, time of the days day system and different weather conditions as well to give that variation between levels so let me have a lit mode so here we have some two watchtowers and some guards and this is the path we have designed let me quickly walk through the area and like this players can reach this area so this is the main camp area where the most of the gameplay time uh, will be taken I will most of the gameplay uh, time player will spend in this area and this is where the game will be end right so you see all of these lines all of these objects all of these barrels and everything these markers you don't see if i press g all of them will be turned off and you see the actual lighting of the game and the enemies that we have placed for example here you can see this enemy we have a line here so this is the line that this player this character will patrol and some other lines these are the patrol paths actually it's two enemies working around this building right let me play this uh, level from the beginning and uh, explain section by section how why did we do it that way and how does it work let me start from the very beginning because this is the first part see let's restart 
you don't get to see games of life being edited. Gabada out at Tulela, it was some poor name Vinasakala, it is Gabada Pradania Argini. So this is uh, the. Let me skip this card. Okay, we can enable subtitles now. Let me enable subtitles. So here we have some article and the lights, some light here with some dust cloud. So actually uh, we have added a dust cloud here to emphasize the light so we can clearly see the dust cloud particle. It's sort of like a mist, not, not dust. Right, so here uh, we wanted to introduce the mechanism of tagging enemies. So we included this, included that part as a part of the gameplay. So according to the story, uh, this our character goes from this side and his one of his allies is hiding at in a higher place. We don't really show that place in the game so but we tell him tell the player that through the conversation so the ally asking us to tag the enemies uh, that we need to take down so if i get the binocular and tag one of the enemies see oh So our friend ally take him down in the distance dist from the distance through a sniper. So if I tag this one too. He do the same thing. So now that uh, uh, now <laughs> that's the way we tell player to we can tag enemies. So now we can tag these enemies too, but uh, uh, this time uh, our ally is not able to take them down because uh, if, all, if all the enemies are taken down by the ally, they won't be okay. Okay, S right. And also one more thing I think I should mention. Let me stop the game. So here you see this light and this light is actually a uh, it's a searchlight. If I play the game, let me skip this cutscene. And you see, this searchlight is uh, actually searching. Let me enable. Oh, wait. Let me disable the binocular and enable the debug camera. So if I go here. You should notice that this light is moving. See, this light is turning. Now it's looking at that way. Same thing happens here as well. And actually, this uh, we learned this trick from I think Metal Gear Solid. So when uh, this enemy is killed. This searchlight stops searching through, and also, uh, did I turn it off? Let's go here. Yeah, it's not rotating anymore. Similar thing happened 
in here as well. Right. Now let's and also one more thing. Uh, if I if I tag an enemy from the distance, we show this uh, icon uh, on uh, over their head. And if we go closer, we start to see an outline. We don't uh, show that from a distance. We don't really see that from a distance because uh, the outline pixel size is not enough. And when we go closer, we can see them. Right. So, mm -hmm. so either we have we have the option to either uh, is, uh, pass this area, sneak past this area, or shoot them down. In either case, let me again enable the debug camera. So if I move here, you see, in this area, there are not, no any enemies. This area is empty, right? And also, this part is not blocked. So, since there are no enemies, even if I shoot in this area, no one would come from this area. So that's basically why uh, we haven't loaded the enemies in that area so let me again go to the level and shoot let me loot right now Let me enable the debug camera. Still, none of the enemies are loaded here. See, and when I pass this area, so we hear a voice line that saying that there is a heavy guard in in the forward area, and we get the game saved. So he actually will load these enemies. Now if I enable the debug camera, enemies are there. Patrolling, some of them are standing around here, here, and there's one in the tower as well. Right. And also we have added, uh, once we pass this area, uh, we load one of these objects as well because we don't want player to come back to this area once if player restart from this part and if I stop the game let me show you these are like colliders there are say various types of colliders that we have used some to trigger audio some to trigger enemy ais so this is a checkpoint the one with this so this check uh, at this checkpoint we have defined all the variables that we need in order to load and unload levels so here for example see level to load cp band so this is not something that you would see uh, by default in the engine this is the way that we have implemented the game so it depends on how you implement the game so this cp bent level these enemies uh we have put them in this cp bent level let me show you these are the sub levels this is the persistent level and we have various sub levels blocking volume cp bent damit actually damit is one of the members in our team who work on this level since he couldn't come up with a better name for the stuff he do inside this level he just named that level as Damit his name Damit Galhena uh, he's a wonderful level designer and enemies we have lab light settings so we have put lights in a separate level uh, to make it easier for us to manage 
covers and a lot of uh, weapon crates sub levels here so anyway these enemies in this area they are in this cp bent sub level so if i disable it you will see now they are gone so this sub level is not loaded by default see it's not initially loaded or initially visible uh, but we are loading it when player come when player overlap with this collider basically so that's why we have level to load cp band so when the player come here in this area actually uh, the environment is also dark and also enemies are not really visible from the place where the player is one of them is here he is not visible so player will not see uh, these enemies pop up when we load the game okay so and also we have the game save system so this is the checkpoint if i have marked this uh, checkpoint as a save point the game will be saved here and next time even now i have stopped the game if i load the game the game will be loaded instead of the very beginning it will be loaded from here see so when that happens let me go back i don't remember if i unload these guys yeah these guys are there actually it's not necessary for them to be here anyway the when we load from this checkpoint we have put this blockade here so therefore player can't really access that area so it's okay right and at this point we have uh, actually i'm not designer i'm not doing the level design the level designer the main guy is andrew teal he's uh, uh he's doing all of this uh, actually uh, we work together i kind of define the layout of the game and he on top of he do all the modifications necessary to make it look better basically and work better he knows a lot in level design the things that i don't know uh, i basically design in a technical standpoint and he basically design in oh, what do we call it? design standpoint right so here we have actually we have multiple parts here if i look from above this are the no if i stop the game you can see the patrol pass that we have defined this guy is walking here and here and there are two enemies that's patrolling along this path from here there are patrol parts as well those two guys come here and then go back so player has we have leave many windows we have left many windows for player to figure out uh, just look at the enemies and figure out their patrol parts so player can carefully uh, avoid each of these enemies if the player need and here we have designed this path actually that player can take this path and completely avoid all the enemies here and reach the next point let me show you that show you how it works in action here see now at this point we can see one of the enemies are over there and another two enemies they are going over there so if i run they will hear me if i want i can put attack so we can easily see the enemy where is it so there are many ways that we can go we can either go like this Oh, 
we can go through here and if if the player is taking this hidden pass if the player explores we need to reward them for doing that so that's why we have placed one of these ammo crates here because players should be rewarded by exploring the level more without taking the obvious path right now here there is a guy and here there is a some intel object so actually those the reason to put intel object also by exploring players should find out the stuff if player go inside this tent and there is nothing special there the player will be discouraged to explore the level so that's why we should always make sure if player goes somewhere there should be something something interesting it's not necessary to be very useful for the game like for something like ammo but it's necessary to be re feel rewarded necessary to feel that player gets something by doing that exploration okay someone else is starting to see me right let me oh, oh. so this white outline means we are completely hidden Now there, oh, there is a guy here as well. Let me let me make some noise here. So as we have taught the player in the level one, if we shoot these generators once, they mal start malfunctioning and the nearby enemies will come closer to check. If I shoot again it will explode and now because of the explosion sound other enemies are alerted see that's why they are now running around to see what happened they actually uh oh, oh, oh wait wait they are random <laughs> well actually what happened here is let me stop the game here they are not uh, this is uh, something completely random when some disturbance happens they search the place around and that's and unfortunately that enemy decided to check where i was so they don't really see me if i'm inside a bush but if they collide with me they will definitely notice me that's the way we have implemented the ai right let me start from here again and here if i want actually we can run through this area as well let me just shoot through the area and this is also this is also the second level so it's not very hard as well we didn't really make it really hard so let me just run through the area I think there are also some more chips here as well No Oh, it's not as easy to run through let me restart so yeah so uh, yeah even though it's not impossible actually to run through this area uh, let me equip the rifle again if you take a headshot they will die instantly
that line laser line is uh, from a sniper so this is the next checkpoint so here player has to hide and wait till the enemies are cooled down and here actually we have done some trick we are setting the see now the time is speed up so the reason to do that is the enemy characters get cool down right. uh, so oh, after uh, cooling down the enemies we show this uh, video that shows the shows through the enemy camp uh, so basically to show the main targets so actually we discussed a lot about this part whether we should show that in a video or we let the player to completely find out the targets uh, but uh, from the player test sessions it seemed that it's a bit harder for player to find these locations on their on their own so that's why uh, we sort of added this small cutscene which shows the lay layout of the camp right so uh, no matter uh, what happens in this area uh, now the game is saved here let me enable the toggle debug camera now all the enemies in this area is unloaded see no one is here now so also if player pass this area basically we wanted to make sure none of the enemies from this area are not coming oh actually some of them are still here so in order to do that we have blocked all the navigations path navigation paths here so if i press show navigation you see uh, this um, green area shows the nav, nav mesh generated nav mesh and this part is essentially blocked so because of uh, we have actually added a navigation modifier here so because of that none of the enemies from this area will come here if the player cross this part so that we can have a different section in the map that uh, it is easier for us to then make a save game point this area otherwise it's not possible it becomes something like a complete open world game uh, and we haven't designed this map in such a way right and also when the player come to this area player can see these enemies uh, now when the players start to see these enemies uh, player is automatically forced inside this bush and we sort of speed up the time to allow uh, enemies to cool down uh, faster because uh, the reason to add that is if we don't allow enemies to cool down um, they will keep shouting and shooting so yeah and also after that uh, so at the uh, at this point even though player can see these enemies their ai is not enabled yet the ai is only enabled when player pass through this area this is another trigger that we have used we call it trigger enemy ai so when player cross this area all the ai controllers of these enemies are enabled so in that way we were able to uh, maintain this part as a separate section independent from what happens here so here actually we have uh, used these uh, toggle enemy ai so basically disable enemy ai's and enable uh, as the player come into this area and also we have used a sub level based approach as well so we can we have actually used both mechanisms depending on what exactly we need in the level so after this point this is how the rest of the mission works 
so here we have enemies and here we have a uh, alarm tower um, when this alarm tower is turned on uh, these lights will be all uh, turned on and off and there will be sound so when uh, there is a main enemy here main target that we need to kill which we have placed here ah, it's not visible yeah this guy this is the main target here and uh, if the alarm goes off uh, there is a callback and this guy is registered to that callback this guy say yeah. if the alarm goes off he will escape to this vehicle and he will escape with this vehicle so so there are two objectives kill that main enemy he is a bomb maker we call him bomber and also player has to place uh, explosives in this power plant those are the two objectives kill the bomber and place the power plants and uh, player can uh, complete these two objectives in any order player wish right so how the alarm works so actually uh, if i select this alarm tower blueprint see we have a light tassel that's why we can see these all these lines and um, let me clear this uh, for each alarm tower there is a backup count and alarm distance and alarm on c alarm on hot so here i have enabled only alarm on c so that means uh, only if the player character is detected seen by an enemy uh, this alarm will go off if the player character is within this defined range that's the way we have implemented so basically this uh, 10,000 units range i think it covers an area like this basically this entire camp area and uh, also if the alarm goes off there is a backup count uh, backup enemy calling or reinforcement calling system as well so the reinforcement enemies are defined in one of these positions one is this backup spawn location one and backup spawn location two so uh, we have placed it uh, this is just a scene component uh, no this is just a static mesh component inside the alarm blueprint uh, we, we have manually changed their location so one location is here and the other location is here so if player is somewhere that player that closer to this area more than this one if the player is closer to this one then the backup enemies will be spawned here so that player will not see them popping up and if the player is closer to this core the backup enemies will be spawned here so in that way we can make sure that player don't see the enemies are being spawned at all right now let me play the game and show this those systems in action Time for the brown. Go down let me skip down this cutscene over that's an in-game cutscene by the way so either player can take this path the main path or there is another path here the player have the freedom to take any of the paths and let me get detected here What I want to do is raise in the alarm. So that I can show you guys Over. how the bomb escape. Oh, there is 
from the holy acid. I think I am playing in a higher difficulty level. I die worse. I die fast. Oh no, that's easy. Oh, back to the brow. Cover down, turn up the hand, we'll do what I pay now. Over. If I crawl here, they don't see me. get the uh, warning from our friend that Bomber is trying to escape. Let me enable good mode. Actually when I enable good mode, uh, this is uh, something we implemented for testing. We can get hurt. So now the reinforcement are being called and alarm is formal. Alarm is turned on. And we get the notification warning from the ally that Bomber is trying to escape. Oh, I forgot to. No, you see, that's the Bomber is escaping the camp. And Bomber escaped. The game will be restarted. Mission failed. Right, now let me show you, if I select this alarm tower, uh, actually uh, it's, uh, uh, we have, um, for this level we use only alarm on scene. If I enable alarm on heard, then when the, when some disturbance, turbans, something like a gunshot or explosion, something like that happens. The alarm will go off and that will also cause the bomber to escape. Let me demonstrate that. Let's keep the level. I think we are still out of the range. Okay, alarm turned off. Reinforcements are being called. Now, if I enable toggle debug camera and move over here, I should be able to see the Bomber running away. Uh, he's already ran away. Did you already run away? Right, so uh, I will not wait until the bomber tear ran away, but you can hear the alarm sound. So that's because I still haven't got detected, but I have enabled alarm on hurt right now uh, if player try to take this path there is a high chance that player will be detected and the bomber will escape so now let happens what we have designed if what happens if player take this upper path Me reload. Back for the brow. Let me skip Go this. Down, the hand, we'll do what pay now. Over. Here also we have placed an enemy. Let me 
kill it. Now, when player reach this area, so actually we don't have a interact mechanism, uh, but we wanted to drive the attention of the player into this uh, wooden pallet that is blocking this uh, hole in the fence, and also we have added this sort of a uh, illuminating effect so players should understand oh wait someone is going to see me players should understand that uh, this is something the player can interact with so what i'm gonna do is we have placed a collider here and if player go near we just enable a cutscene that shows the player move this palette and get in. And here we show the player that this is our main target. So we play sort of place him in front of the player. Uh, so player either player can try to directly take him down and or player can play some more and take on the approach as well we have set up multiple ways to kill the bomb so player will have the freedom to do any of those take any of those approaches right now we didn't want the player uh, to be able to directly shoot the bomb through this window so to prevent that what we have done is if you look through this window it's clear and through this window it's not so clear uh, that's because we have added a glass here so if i shoot the glass will be broken and other enemies will hear it i have to shoot twice so this shot will not make any sound but the glass breaking sound will make some noise that will cause other enemies to look around that will cause other enemies to alert so yeah so that's a uh, so if player is careful he should notice that and another way would be If I kill this guy, now the bomber should see him. See, he has seen him. And kill him. Now both of them are dead. Nobody knows. Um, oh wait, someone is coming. Ah oh, yeah, they heard it because the bomber saw me. Bomber saw me and shouted so these enemies heard me let me kill him oh i moved so he saw me right i should minimize my movements So another way would be so the bomber comes here as well. Let me just kill them both. See. Right, nobody saw. Now the both now the main target is killed. The only thing I have to do is plant in the explosives. So if I want to take now even if the alarm goes off, I wouldn't have a problem because I have killed the bomb already, so he can't escape anymore. Alright. Oh, 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 oh.
so this white outline disappears when we move so we have uh, the reason is we disable the cover we make the uh, player visible to enemies when the player moves Also, we can disable the alarm towers as well. All I have to do is shoot in the control box of the alarm tower. If I do that, the reinforcements will not come. But it's a bit hard to access that area because enemies are filled in that area here. Oh. run and hide actually we have added the visual clue here so uh, and we have kept that consistency throughout all the elements so let me show you that here we have a red bulb and a yellow bulb Enemies are searching because they heard that alarm goes off. Let's wait. Uh, right now, if I shoot once, now the yellow bulb is turned off, and only the red bulb is there. So that indicates uh, I got detected. So that what that indicates is if I shoot it again, it's going to explode. That's kind of a uh, unwritten. Uh, uh, let me close. That's kind of a uh, unwritten code or unexplained code that we have for explosive objects. So we have kept that consistency, that rule here, and also these light towers and also these generators all of them have this red and yellow uh, bulbs so that means if i shoot them once they are going to malfunction so the yellow button will turn off and if i shoot again they will explode so that's sort of a code that uh, we have built into the system and we are not saying that in any of the places because we kind of wanted to player to learn that intuitively learn that right uh, now let me finish the bear this level oh, I killed it kill this guy Let's wait till they move. Do we need ammo? Mm. Ammo for ninety is the max ammo count we have set. So if I try to cross this area, there is a chance that these enemies patrolling in this area would see me. 
let's try to take this path. Hope no one will see him. They have seen the dead body. Yeah. You kill this guy. complete area is over there let's run and we can detonate the power plant when we go to that place and the alarm goes off because I got detected let me see if I can hide when I am detected it's uh, we don't allow hiding oh yeah for some time now they are searching. <laughs> so there is a helicopter coming and we have to wait or hold until the helicopter comes. But the game is so saved, so no worries. Let's explode. Try not to make any disturbance and let the enemies search. Only if anyone comes closer, let's shoot. Let's just throw a grenade. Savior is coming. The job. So job is shooting. Okay. Right. 
it. So this is the end cutscene. This is the record dead cutscene, not the video one. at the end I will get this skill menu as well but since I didn't perform very well or actually I have acquired some more skills already in this map so I don't get any skill points mm, all right so yeah that's the breakdown of the level are there anything else that you guys need to know like how some particular system works so let me know in the comments and I will try to explain also if you are uh, if you like uh, uh, if you can get the game in from steam and play it uh, we would be more than happy so and also if you can please uh, share the word uh, share our game with uh, international streamers so we can we can reach more people so we uh, so more many people know our game and it will help us to reach more people and try more sales that would be great if you guys can help us with that all right so i'm gonna stop for today and the game is in this team it's already available so i'll put the link below in the description uh, all right so thanks again for watching uh, let's meet in another video and I'm gonna end the video with the final gameplay trailer of our game Nero Nero <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna get